By the end of this video, you'll learn how to make your own Motion Blue version 5, the latest and greatest retro gaming operating system with video snaps, artwork, you'll learn how to configure your controller, how to get your image ready, how to set up your audio, how to put background music on emulation station, and much, much more. Continue watching to find out how. You'll see some links in the description. Those are going to be the download link for the Motion Blue version 5 zip file. You should get a zip file like this. Go ahead and double click it and inside you'll notice two files. You can just go ahead and hold shift or control, get them both, and then drag them into where you want to extract them to. Or you can hit this extract button. You can use WinRAR or 7-Zip if you need to download those programs that are free. So once you unrar this file, you'll get these two files here. The, the PDF file, which is an information file, and the actual .img file. That's your actual operating system there. So now you have to put this on a micro SD card. So the first thing you do want to do is get SD formatter or some sort of formatting program. I like this one. I'll put a link to it. And go ahead and just make sure it's the right drive. You can see that when I hit the... Um, J drive, it says this drive is not supported. That's an external drive I have. So this is it, J. Go ahead and don't mess with any of the settings here. Go ahead and click format. Are you sure? Okay. Do not remove it. Okay. I will not do it. Okay. After your micro SD card is formatted, you're going to want a program called Win32 Disk Imager. Go ahead and right click it, run in this administrator. I'll put a link in the description how to get this. It's also a free program. Make sure you're on the right device. You have two. Uh, you can see I have two hard drives here, but I know my J drive is my micro SD. So you can see my iPod is H right now. So J being the boot drive, I know that's the correct one. I'm gonna go ahead and click this folder now and find this file there. See, I found the folder. I put it in my download folder. So I'll go ahead and double click that, and then I'm gonna click this button right here that says write. It's gonna say, Are you sure you want to write? And I'm gonna say yes. And now this process is going to take a little bit of time. It also depends on how fast the write speed is on your micro SD card. But this is a class 10 card. If you want good cards, I'll put links in the description below. This is a SanDisk class 10 Ultra. They're very good cards. So let this finish. And once it's completed, you'll get a pop-up that says write complete. Once it's completed, we can now put it in our Pi. And once we put it in our Pi, we can boot up for the first time. When you boot up for the first time, you should see a screen like this. Go ahead and hold down one of your buttons and go ahead and go through this process. Up, down, left, right on your D-pad. Start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder. And now here's where some controllers won't have these buttons. So you just want to hold down the button. I'm holding down B, for example, to just say not defined. But you do want a hot key button all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to use select again as my hotkey button. Because that's going to allow us to exit games later by pressing select start. So I'm going to hit select there. It says button 6. Go ahead and press OK with B. And then B out of it again. I'm sorry, A. And A out of it again. And now... You you're completed with your configuration. If you need to redo it, press start, go down to configure input, press B, and then press B again. But if you want to get out of here, press no. Now that we're in RetroPie, we're going to go to the RetroPie menu here, and we're going to go down to, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you're on a wired connection, you can skip this step, but we do need to be connected to the internet. So with the Wi-Fi, you just have to type in your Wi-Fi password to connect. So you want to click network, and when you click network, you should be, see, you can see my computer here, MSI, you can also see the RetroPie. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my RetroPie, and I'm going to go into ROMs. And so since the Super NES Classic is so popular today, I'm going to go ahead and put some Super Nintendo games on this Motion Blue, some backups, if you will. So you, you want to transfer the games themselves. I've collected a few games that I really enjoy on my system here at home. And I'm just going to drop them in, and this is all going via Wi-Fi. So it's a fairly slow process. If you're on a wired connection, this is going to go much quick. This is going to go much quicker. All right, now that we've transferred our ROMs, you, you want to go ahead and transfer your box art as well. There's many different websites that have this available. I'm just going to go ahead and transfer all of them. 
So I'm in the Raspberry Pi now. I've transferred all my games. I have my wheel artwork in here. I have my snap videos in here. I have my cart art. And I have my box art. So all my SNES stuff is in there. The other thing while we're here is you might want to drop your music in to the Raspberry Pi. And there should be a file here called music. If there isn't, go ahead and just right click say new folder and create music. And then I went ahead and I transferred my MP3 files there. You can put multiple music files if you wanted to rotate or shuffle. Uh, put the music in there. Now that we have our artwork and our backup ROM, now we can go back to emulation station on the Pi. So now we're on the Pi, we're going to go ahead and start on our controller, quit, and we just need to actually restart emulation station. We don't even have to restart the whole thing. So this is a pretty quick restart process. Your sound, click on audio, and you can either go through the 3.5 millimeter port or you can go through HDMI. Another thing you can change is from Hursty Blue to Motion Blue. Go ahead and click back. And uh, you need to go back again and then go back in. And as you can see, it uses not only the box art, but also the titles as well. So for this, though, let's go back to Hursty Blue. And again, remember, you got to go back and then in. Another thing that they added is now you can um, go ahead and add things to your favorite menu. So you see that I just went A and then there's something called the user menu. This is a new feature and I could tag it as my favorite. So now I just tagged it. And when I restart emulation station, now I'm going to have F0 as one of the games in my favorites. So really easy. The other thing that a lot of people didn't like was how hard it was to untag a game, but now it's really easy. You just got to go there and uh, and do it. Really, really cool stuff there. I'm really impressed by um, all the details in this. Really impressed. All right, we're in fourth. I'll get out of my kitchen. Third. Second. Jumping. First. Look at that. Get out of my kitchen. Oh, a little two R out there. That was a lot of laps. Alright, it's on. I didn't realize she was on my butt the whole time. Man, he's a little bully, too. Well, this makes for more interesting video highlights now. You gotta get rid of this noob right here. Beat it. Oh, jeez. Ah. He's right behind me! Yes! Alright, so here you have it. Couple, You have your own Cody menu now. You could go ahead and do the collections. Uh, there is a GPIO on-off button script right here. So if you want to install a button, it's a script is already installed. You just got to put it on the right pins. I believe it's 5 and 6 on the Pi. The image is now uh, requires a 16 gigabyte or larger SD card to work. I'm running on a 64, which is fine. The other thing I want to do is I, I transfer the music over. Let's try this uh, add background music. It should just run a, a script. So it's saying enter the number. We want to do one and enable processing. Okay. Script is now finished. You must reboot your Raspberry Pi. Music's working.
So just like that, you load in the game, the music turns off. So before I end this video, I want to give mad props to Marty for making this motion blue. It's been beautiful, and man, are all the details done on this. He said this is going to be his final version, version 5. I hope not. I saw some dot, dot, dots. I felt some reservation in his voice. I hope it's not his last. I do think that he he deserves a long vacation. You know, take your time, buddy. Six months, 12 months. I just hope we haven't seen the last of you. This is a beautiful program. Love it, love it, love it. Cannot give him more props. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy Motion Blue. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.